We love Habakkuk too. We love Habakkuk too. Let's go there and let's read it today. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision down and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. So now the key verse that I just want you to understand right here, listen to this part carefully. Habakkuk is saying, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me. Not my ideas, not my thoughts, not what I want to do, not what I see other people doing, not what look good, not what look glamorous, but what he wants me to do. And if you have a vision board, I just want to say, go back to your vision board. Look at your vision board and ask God, is this something on here that, that shouldn't be? Is this something in my heart? Do I have an agenda or motive behind some of these things that I have written or I have placed on here? We don't just write whatever we want to write and rub God as the magic genie. Like just because we wrote it down, he's supposed to just poof, make it happen. No. And that's where a lot of people go wrong. The world is talking a lot about manifesting stuff. Who are we <laughs> to, to sit and try to manifest stuff? No, all things happen through God. We were created by him and for him, for his purpose and for his glory. We ought to be asking God, God, what is your plan for my life? What's the vision you want me to write down? What is it I should be doing? What should I be obtaining? Number one, ask God his plan for you. Not your plan, not your idea. Take your idea, take your plan, throw it out the window. God, what is your plan for me? Number two, we have to ask God, what is the blueprint? What is the blueprint? Because now once he tells you what to do, now you ought to be asking him, how do I do it? Because sometimes God could tell us what to do, but we do it our way. We do it the way we want to do it. So a lot of times it's not that God didn't tell you what to do, but you're doing it the way you want to do it. So that's still wrong. Lastly, number three is probably one of the most important things after you ask. Now you have to execute. It doesn't make sense to ask God what he wants from you or what he wants you to do if you ain't going to do anything. Remember, we serve a sovereign God. It's his will. It's his will, not ours. That's why it's so important that our will be lined up with God's will. And once our will be lined up with God's will, that's when we can truly answer the question and say, God, your way, not my way, your way.